Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode of Paired Programmers. I'm Keith Ott. And I'm Paul Weldon. So today we're going to be talking about getting started with the mean JavaScript uh, stack and the Cloud9 web-based IDE. So first of all, what is mean? Well, it's, as I said, it's a full-stack JavaScript framework. It's comprised of four technologies. The first is MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database. It's very scalable, and it's used by a lot of uh, major companies and software applications that deal with a lot of data. Uh, Express is a second one. It's a web framework that sits on top of Node.js. It simplifies a lot of uh, common uh, web-based uh, things that you'd be doing uh, from a web server perspective. The next one is AngularJS, which is an MVC framework for web browsers. And the last one is Node.js. This allows you to write server-side code in JavaScript. And if you want to check out the project, head over to mean.io. Now, what is Cloud9? Cloud9 is a web-based IDE that allows for real-time collaboration. Uh, just head over to uh, c9.io uh, to sign up for an account. Um, and it's really cool. It allows you to write... Uh, JavaScript, uh, to spin up node servers, uh, to give you a terminal you can uh, run things from. It's pretty cool. All right, so with that, let's get mean. Okay, so let's jump over to Cloud9, and we already have a shared workspace set up between me and Paul. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, in this case is I'm going to click this little icon here, and I'm going to click Open Active File. And this is going to show me what he's looking at right now. And I see you type in there. Welcome to my workspace. All right, so probably a, a good first step before we install Mean is let's get our MongoDB database up and running. So as you already know, Keith, Cloud9 already comes packaged with support for MongoDB, but we do need to do a little configuration first. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide where we should have our data. So let's make a new data directory. And then we are going to make a file to hold all the nice little MongoDB shell command that we need to do a lot. So let's do that. Because we did a file, we're going to have to change the permissions on this. And don't worry, all this is listed in the, in the description of the video below. Absolutely. So let's kick that off. Let's see if we can get the MongoDB server up. And look at that. It's like up and running. All right, Keith, so why don't we bootstrap our application now? Let's, I'm gonna create a new terminal window so we can keep our MongoDB server up. Sounds good, and I'm gonna follow along with what you're doing here. All right, so to make this easy, instead of hand coding everything, which is never fun, um, let's use their CLI tool. So npm install. So this is documented on their website, but this is their main, um, tool here to make our life a little easier. So this is what we can use to bootstrap as well as make additional packages in the future. All right, so now that we have the tool, let's use it. So along with that, that comes along with a command called mean, and we are going to run an init on my cool app. So this is gonna bootstrap our application for us. So it is going to ask, a, ask us a few questions, just like a lot of the other generators out there. So let's just click through. And no, I am not going to set up our initial user. And the bootstrapping, we think, is done, but not fully done. So as you can see up above, Mean does give us a couple other things that we need to do. The first thing is we need to have Gulp globally installed, because that's what we're going to use. You and I already have that. I already did that. But we do need to do all the other steps of an NPM install and a Bower install. So to do that, I'm going to navigate into our directory and run that NPM install command. All right. So, Keith, our NPM install is complete. And luckily enough, it also looks like it booted up the Bower component install. So that's handy. Awesome. Um, the one thing I will say is if anyone does encounter an issue out there, try to make sure you run the npm install command again. Sometimes things happen, so you might just want to run that a second time. So because all of our dependencies are there, let's see how things are working. So I'm going to run gulp in our terminal window here. And the default task for gulp is going to do a bunch of different things. It's going to clean, it's going to 
uh, run any less compilation that is there. It's going to lint our stuff, and it's also going to bring up a Node.js server. So let's see how this goes. OK. So far, so good. It says it is running. All right. It looks like stuff is booting up. So that's great. So Keith, I'm looking at it on my end, and it's there, and it's looking OK. So why don't you do a preview on your side and see if you can see it? I'll do preview running application and give it a few seconds. And it looks like it loaded to me. All right. There we go. Bootstrapped our application. Cool. All right. Well, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, too. We've got a lot of other great content coming on the pipeline and we want to make sure that we can stay in touch. Thanks for watching.